Ladies and gentlemen, welcome home. Alaska DE here once again. And somebody, a few people asked me, actually asked me, there we go, got it right, uh, what my preferred classes were in each kit or class, preferred setup were in each class. Yes, there we go, got it. And I'm actually running it right now for this squad rush game. If you didn't see it in the last couple of seconds, you're listening to me mulch sentences. It is the M16A3 with the foregrip, suppressor, and Cobra red dot. Secondary is the Glock 18 suppressed. I run the med pack and defibrillator because I have to. And then depending on the game type and who I'm playing with, I will run sprint. The, the squad specialization is something that varies greatly, but the weapon setup stays the same. And you're like, why do you use that stuff on your gun? Simples. Suppressor. You don't show up on the minimap. That should be that should speak for itself. R right there, especially. The kid inside the building or outside the building had no idea I had just destroyed his teammate. Yeah, so he was staring at the wall instead of the door. Simple. The suppressor also lowers the vertical recoil of the weapon. And at the moment, the suppressor does nerf the does slow down the speed of the bullet in game, which does decrease its damage at range. There is a patch being released soon, which will negate that. The bullets will no longer lose damage at range because of the suppressor, which means there will be absolutely no reason whatsoever to not have a suppressor in your weapon. So right here, you get a little a little montage clip actually in game. This is why you this is why you use SAS. This is why you suck at shooting, kid. Nice little triple. That, and that's a perfect play in to why I use the Glock 18 as my secondary. The Glock 18 can do things like that. You cannot do that with other pistols. I love having that automatic weapon in the back pocket for whenever I need it. Some of you have been around since the very first commentary, and you know that the Glock 18 is the pocket P90. That's my little, little phrase I coined for it. So that's pretty much my only reason for... The only reason you'd ever need actually for the, the Glock 18. It's it's amazing, amazing weapon at close range. You can get ridiculous multi kills when you need to, and I'm bad at aiming sometimes. Going back to the M16, covering the attachments, the foregrip decreases the horizontal recoil. So we have the suppressor decreasing the vertical recoil or vertical climb, and we have the foregrip negating or uh, lessening the horizontal recoil so both of those paired together ultimately tone down how much the gun is actually going to recoil which the M16 has very little to begin with so it just makes it that much more of a laser beam weapon which is awesome and then optics are generally personal preference I do like the Cobra red dot sight mainly because you see the sight is actually three bars it gives me some horizontal and vertical indication of where the shot is. It helps me lead people because I have that vertical and horizontal positioning to work with. Also, the encasing of the actual sight is smaller than the hollows and it's actually smaller than the red dot, red dot sight. So you have a little bit clearer field of vision. The Selection for the gadget, I run medkit mainly because it makes assault extremely powerful. As soon as you put that medkit down, you are instantly regaining up to 10 HP every, you know, I believe it's 1.5 seconds. This means you can you can sit on a med pack while taking shots from people at range and actually be gaining health, um, especially if they're a bad shot or if the shots are traveling through surfaces. People, that this is one thing that's personal preference as far as the gadget. People like the the launchers. They are beneficial, um, but generally, because I play a lot of things alone, I don't want to have to rely on somebody else to give me health. And having that health pack lets me stay aggressive. I'm very much an aggressive player. I like to be aggressive up in the people's business. So having the ability to heal myself on the fly just allows me to do that even more so. The 320 and the mass launcher 
have great, great uses. Um, I know, especially in competitive scrims, there are some times where those are, you actually need those to clear people out of a position to be able to push up. But for the most part, the, the, the med pack makes Assault an extremely, extremely powerful class, and you want to you wanna be that. You want to be extremely powerful whenever you're on the battlefield. You want to own everything you do and everything that is around you. So that is my preferred setup for Assault M16A3 with full grip, suppressor, Cobra Red Dot Sight, Glock 18 secondary, med pack 90% of the time, and squad specialization that I go to when there's nobody else around is going to be sprint. The increased movement speed is amazing. I love it. It actually gives you a slight boost into strafing speed also. So having that all around better speed, I think helps. And then you choke on kills like that. <laughs> Thank God for teammates to help you clean stuff up. All right, guys, that is it. I'm going to post the preferred setups for the rest of the kits as it is go on. Thank you for watching. Please leave me comments about what you would like to see as far as this goes and what your setups are actually going to be. Um, I like hearing about what other people can find useful because some stuff that you might find useful I can't deal with ever, like the AN94. <laughs> you guys have a good night. Thank you for watching. Cheers.